it's really a proud moment for us we are very fortunate that the society members of IAAVP are here once again as we know that this society Indian Association for Advancement of Veterinary Parasitology was founded in 1986 and was registered in Patna with the aim for speedy and focused development of veterinary parasitology in the field of teaching research and extension at national and international levels this society has many more activities apart from this it also publishes journal of veterinary parasitology and presents awards to the members for their outstanding contribution in the field of veterinary parasitology now i request president IAAVP Dr. E. Sangaran sir for address please. Thank you madam. Good morning to one and all present here. Honorable chief guest, the principal secretary of the state of Bihar for Unwisbury Fisheries Resource Development, Madam Vijay Lakshmi. The Honorable Vice Chancellor, a very dynamic person that I have been observing for quite some time, Dr. Rameshwar Singh of uh, the Bihar Animal Sciences University, Dean Dr. J.K. Prasad, Dean PG Studies Dr. Veer Singh Rathor, invited guests, distinguished members of the university, former parasols of uh, Basu, Organ Secretary Dr. Rajit, fellow IAP members, delegates, faculty, present media persons, ladies and gentlemen. I, as President of the IAP, feel very much honored to be here of this prestigious association of IAP, which laid the foundation from this city of Patna in 1986. Very, very happy to be here during the inaugural function of this 32nd NCVP at this historic city of Patna, which is famed for its culture and hospitality. It is my pleasure to extend a very warm welcome to all those who have gathered here for this 32nd NCVP. First, I would like to congratulate the Organizing Secretary and his wonderful team for their sincere efforts to organize this grand gathering at Patna, showing the competent ability of the organizing team, strength and support rendered by officers and staff of the college and the university. The Indian Association for the Advancement of Veterinary Parasitology, which was established on 15th February 1986 at Patna, for providing a forum on important issues related to veterinary parasitology research, education and extension, for the benefit of the scientific community, planners, policy makers, industrialists and other stakeholders. After 37 years of progression, the association has expanded to a larger platform with more than 1000 members working towards enhancing livestock and poultry production, companion animal health through controlled parasitic diseases. Our journal, the Journal of Veterinary Parasitology, has been abstracted in the Veterinary Bulletin, Index Veterinarius, Helminthological Abstracts, Parasitological Abstracts, review of medical veterinary entomology, biosis and other literature sources. The journal has also been approved by the UGC by virtue of it being recognized in Scopus category 2. The association has always encouraged young scientists and researchers with various meritorious awards and felicitated the senior members every year during the national conference by way of fellow and several oration awards. It is indeed a proud moment for us that our association has signed a MOU recently with the Malaysian Society of Parastology and Tropical Medicine this year during the World Conference of the Veterinary Parasitology that is WAP 2023 held at Chennai involving 400 plus delegates from 55 countries across the world. It was really a matter of proud for me and my team to affiliate the IAAP to WAP and highlight our country and our IAP in an international platform. We have also been accredited to the World Federation of Parasitology as an accredited member of the society which emphasizes and enhances the feasibility of doing parasitology research under One Health concept. Talks are underway in the future to sign a MOU by the IAP with the African Network for Veterinary Parasitology as well as with the Asian Alliance of Societies for Tropical Medicine and Parasitology to forge MOU with parasitology societies in Asian countries such as Malaysia, Vietnam, Thailand, Indonesia, Philippines and Taiwan. This alliance is to create opportunities amongst the parasitologists across these countries for exchange of networking through academic and research collaborations which will be exclusive to the members of IAAP. Esteemed members, 
the theme for the 32nd NCEP, Sustainable Control of Parasitic Diseases for Improved Productivity of Livestock in Current Scenario, proves to be a pertinent to the prevailing situation where there is a surge in parasitic disease in livestock, companion animals, causing significant economic loss, adversely impacting animal welfare. Few parasitic infections have become threat amongst endangered wild animals and few are potentially zoonotic, having public health significance, which will be discussed during these three-day scientific sessions. Lack of less effective parasitic drugs and emergence of parasitic resistance is also a challenge for control of these parasites. Understanding and managing of vector-borne diseases presents additional challenges compared to other diseases. Vector reproduction, behavior and competence are strongly influenced by environmental factors such as temperature, humidity, habitat and presence of the host species that the vector feeds on leading to varied seasonal patterns of disease occurrence. Climate change is another important factor which is playing its role in many of these uh, uh, disease incidences. An opportunity for the future of vector control in the animal husband sector is integrated control. If integrated vector control is recommended or imposed by health organizations, the assessment of operational impacts is mandatory both at the implementation and use of vector control tools and return on investment or cost benefits for the disease control. The effectiveness of control measures depends highly on understanding that people under the threat of vector borne diseases have the importance of the issues and on the acceptability of strategies adopted. Cost effectiveness of surveillance, control methods should be part of the integrated control strategies as they are relevant to social, social concerns and public health budgets. Risk assessment and impact of intervention methods on non-targeted organisms, human populations and environment needs to be investigated to minimize the exposure and side effects. Insecticides and acaricides are often considered a quick, easy and inexpensive solution for controlling pests and vector species, but it has come to a stage with insecticide and acaricide resistance monitoring. One Health, which is another important topic, is certainly a topical, a trendy area to exploit as a positive driver for multidisciplinary activities and research funding. At this point, I would like to say that uh, it's, it's very happy to inform here that the WOH, World Organization of Animal Health, is coming forward to invite the Paris of India. I have got a mail, uh, maybe to propose some kind of uh, activities which can be encouraged by the WHO. So this is mainly to focus on the One Health. One Health also is increasingly incorporated into undergraduate and graduate teaching related to health and disease. There is an incredible lack of knowledge about pathogen diversity and susceptibility in wildlife. Without improved and ongoing surveillance of wildlife hosts, not only we will have uh, always be behind in terms of predicting the possibility of reservoirs being established and our outbreaks occurring, also at a disadvantage pre preventing declines of native fauna resulting from infectious diseases including those caused by the animal parasites. Ultimately, integrating human and animal medicine with environmental factors targeting at One Health should be recognized as a probable solution for parasite control. At this juncture, I am very grateful to all the members of the IAP and for having completed two terms as the General Secretary of this Association and having accepted to be the President of this Association from the last year 2022 for entrusting me with the responsibility of being the President, having faith in me. I would like to express respect and profound gratitude to the Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. Rameshwar Singh of the Bihar Animal Science University, a dynamic personality and patron of this Congress, for granting permission to hold the 32nd NCVP at Patna. Our heartfelt thanks to senior IAP members, Dr. SRP Sinha, Dr. K.P. Malik, Dr. Veer Singh, DRA Com Dean PG Studies and Dr. J.K. Prasad, Dean of the College for the facilities provided as well as for the guidance and support. The Executive Committee of the IAP record their wholehearted thanks to Organized Secretary Dr. Ajit Kumar, Head of the Department of Veterinary Pathology, Bihar Veterinary College and all his team members of the Organizing Committee for hosting this mega annual event. I wish all the delegates present here to have a wonderful deliberation and come up with productive recommendations on parasites and parasite disease control for improvement of animal health. Thank you. Jai Hind.